at this time, please welcome uh, teacher Shakur. Teacher Shakur, please welcome one of the of our teachers. He's a great teacher. He's also following you met the group of resources. Please clap, have a clap, guys, to this teacher. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, from the first to the last grade, I would like to start by appreciating the Peace Center for Continuous Education. And the job you are doing it right now, it's actually important. And we actually need to listen to some things. There are some words that we need to listen to them right now. Some important words we would like to share this evening. So, there is a question we need to ask ourselves. What does it mean to be a school student? What does it mean to be a young? What does it mean to be learning and studying and in education field? You know, all these words are important to know. But now, we have got no more time to discuss all these words, ladies and gentlemen. But there is one important word I would like you all to know is who you are. Do you know who you are right now? If you are in grade 1, or in grade 2, or in grade 7, or in grade 8, or even you are in secondary school or college, you need to know who you are first. Do you know yourself who you are? Do you know what you want from this life? Do you have goals? Do you have things to achieve? Do you know who you are right now in this point? Then the first thing you have to know in this place, at this time, who you are. Not your name. It doesn't matter how your mother or your father call you or how people call you. What's important is to know your personality, to know your character, to know what you have from within. So the first thing to know Know who you are in life. Second, know what do you want from life. Third, know what is stopping you from getting what you want from your life. So many of us in this place, you have to understand, who am I? I am a student right now. What I want, I want to be an engineer. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a speaker. I want to be an actee. I want to be whatever. Whatever you want to be at this time, you can be if you stop working on what you want to be, you can make it. Because you do not believe in that. I'm so need know who you are. Second, know what you want. Third, know what is stopping you from getting what you want. I am not going to get it off or bring it out. But I will leave you with very important words right now. You have a moment will never come back again. You have a chance you can't get it back. You have opportunity, never come again. You are beautiful. You are important. You are strong. You are fantastic. You are marvelous. You are a student and you are a leader. And you are everything in this life. If there anybody tell you, you are not, yes you are. If somebody tells you, you are young, you are big. Somebody tell you, you are weak, you are strong. Somebody tell you, you are out, you are here. Somebody tell you, you are failure, you are successful. Did you know that success you can make it? Did you know that you are the only one in this place to make something better for yourself? Your fathers are waiting, your mothers are waiting, the community is waiting, the generation is waiting. What you are doing it right now in peace training, uh, in peace center for continuous education, it is not for you. It is not for us. It's for our people who are coming. It's for your, your grandsons and your granddaughters. Don't see yourself small right now. Don't see yourself down at the moment. See yourself there. Put yourself ahead. Make sure that you have goals to do. Make sure that you are not only this simple person over here in this grade, but you are somebody who is over there, out of here, doing a lot of jobs, doing very, very important things. Finally, I want you to say something to yourself. But you got it, you got it. Look at your friend next to you right now and tell him that you are beautiful, please. Say to your friend, you are beautiful. You are You're beautiful. beautiful. We are all beautiful over here. And we are all successful. Finally, there is a word 
we have two people in this life. Someone helps you. Someone lifts you. And someone knocks you down. And stop going with a bad friend, negative friend, who will tell you cannot pass the exam, who tell you you cannot pass the test, who tells you that you have nothing more. Tell them that you have more important things. And let them believe in you. And let them trust you. And then you can succeed these things. It is not difficult for you to be an engineer. It is not difficult for you to be a president of Sudan. It's not difficult for you to be every person you would like to be in this life. So keep knowing who you are and what you want from this life and what exactly is stopping you from getting it. And choose the best friend. The best friend is the friend that you can just be with, never say a word, then walk away feeling it was the best conversation you have ever had. Don't stay with negative people. Don't stay with those people whom don't follow up. Don't continue. Don't progress. So now, there is only one chance for you over here. Either you follow up your dream. Either you die fighting or you remain hopeless. Nobody should be hopeless and nobody should be homeless and nobody should be monotonous. Anybody must be active and must be fantastic and must be beautiful. And the last word, I will repeatedly say that know who you are, what you want from this life and know what is stopping you from getting it to stop every negative feeling that you have to stop every bad thing you're feeling right now so you are beautiful and you deserve every success in life you want thank you very much right now. Uh, my name is Muhammad Chakur I'm a global trainer, I, I give training and I speak around I've just been out of country two weeks ago when I come down over, I met friends like Mr. Abram, the guy who's willing to die for us. The guy who's willing to vanish for us, but we'll never let him down until we believe that we can make out of this school many Abrams, not only one. So I'm quite sure most of you here will resemble that person. Most of you here will follow up that man. That man who never perish, who never give up for us, who never stop giving us and never stop continuously doing jobs here in Peace Center. You will be a teacher who is right now teaching this school. Thank you very much. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much.